I give the call to the honourable member for more. Uh, thank you, Deputy Speaker. And it's nice to see that this month, this month, the Queensland Liberal and National Party has finally discovered congestion on the M1. The Liberal and National Party have been in government since September 2013. So well done, Rip Van Winkle. Well done. I hope you enjoyed your nice five-year nap. I know you needed to have a shave when you did wake up, but I do acknowledge that you are putting some money into this vital piece of infrastructure. After years of ignoring the needs of Queenslanders and ignoring critical Queensland infrastructure and years of ignoring the desperate need for upgrades to the M1 and actually starting a petition to petition himself. Oh, that's what I love. I love that. A petition where he's saying, you should talk to the member for Ford, a petition organised by the member for Ford to petition himself. That's great. So it's great to see the member for Ford pipe up with this motion, finally, finally. The Liberal and National Party has been dragged kicking and screaming right. into funding the M1 upgrade. And it's great to see the member for Grainler in here for this motion. I look forward to his uh, uh, comments on the member for Ford's motion. And, uh, but it's great to see uh, the Liberal and National Party now pipe up after five years and give us a lecture on infrastructure spending. What a, what a joke. There's been a, an out-of-touch government over the last five years and suddenly, in this budget, in the lead-up to an election, they announce a little bit. This money should have been invested in the M1 upgrade and the project on the way to comp and it should be almost on the way to a ribbon cutting ceremony. Instead, we've got an out of touch government that has disappointed Queenslanders and put, put a handbrake on productivity. We've seen their record on full display, announcing and then re-announcing projects in Dixon and uh, Longman on the Bruce. You can keep announcing projects over and over again, but the people of Queensland are wising up. They are on to you. When the Liberal and National Party announces infrastructure spending, Queenslanders know now to look for the smoke, to look for the mirrors. And what about Cross River Rail in that budget? Right. What about yeah. Cross River Rail? Yeah. The member for Ford, when he talked about congestion in his speech, seemed to forget Cross River Rail, something that Infrastructure Australia said was the number one priority.